Here's a quick video to show you Seasons Force 5 users how easy it is to use Smart Notes and start a new survey on Force 5 and pick your template and fill in whatever information you have before you go to the boat to survey. Export it to the cloud for smart notes and come back, uh, get on the tablet, do your survey inspection on the tablet, and you uh, send it back to Force 5. That's the concept this is going to show you. So here we have our new survey started for the smart notes demo okay now you can come in and put whatever inform other information you have before you export it to the tablet but if you don't you could you're ready to export it now you can click on tools go to smart notes go to cloud now you back it up i don't see any reason to back up a brand new survey with no data in it Notice that the um, management, the Smart Notes management window stops at cloud. It's showing up to three uh, surveys that I could import, but we're not going to import anything. We're going to export the survey that we just made. You could export templates separately, but we're going to do the survey that we just did. So there's our templates showing a list of templates. We're not going to export one of those right now because our new survey is going to take the template that we chose with it to the cloud and be used for the survey on the tablet. So there we are, new survey, smart notes demo. We're exporting it. The upload is complete to the cloud. I know that looks fast, but that's, you know, how pretty much how fast it is when you have a good connection to the internet. All right, now we're actually going to just start up the tablet and go to Smart Notes. So here we are on an Android tablet. This is pretty much what Smart Notes looks like. You've downloaded Smart Notes. We can now click on Management, Import Surveys and Templates. That will go to the cloud and show us what's up there. New Survey Smart Notes Demo. That's what we're going to download into the tablet. Right now it's showing that's what's on the cloud. So now it's downloading and converting the templates and the item choices for that new survey that you created. And it's putting it on the tablet and making it ready to use. So you can have multiple surveys on the tablet. And um, as long as you've imported them for use. So now we're going to go back and we are going to go back to the home screen and go to open. When we click open an existing survey, we, there's two surveys up there. So we're going to click obviously our new one that we made. So we go down to open down the lower left corner. We click it and it comes to the first place you can type any data in. Now these four areas up there are spin buttons. Top one is the introduction major chapter. When you click that, it shows you can jump to any major section of the report. So if you're just going to jump into systems and start there, which most surveyors would do, they can put everything else in while they're at home. So we're at systems, hull deck and superstructure, hull construction, hull. We're on that template that we have. There's, a, there's your item choices at the bottom. You can click the hull deck and superstructure and jump to jump to any of major subsection on the vessel. We're going to stick with hull deck and superstructure. We're going to be under hull construction. That's a sub, sub uh, section. We can jump to any of these subsections, superstructure, deck fittings. We're going to stick with hull construction. And we're going to hull. Now we're going to click on hull and show you that you can scroll to any heading item very quickly and put data in at any heading item. Right now we're going to stay on hull. You can see you have your item choices there. Uh, top one modified V. So I just touch that. It pulls it into the edit window. I make my change. My little virtual keyboard comes up. I go Ted. New I think is what we're going to put in here. 
and now I've modified it so it'll be recognizable. It has a plus up in front of hull now which means it's been addressed so we can quickly see the item choices we've addressed or the heading items we've addressed. Now if we want to select a new heading to go to and make a change we could just do this and go to click on any one or we can click on the next and previous button down at the bottom which I'm going to do next. We jump to stem. We're going to pick our item choice, our top one. I'm going to type something in here so you can recognize that we made a change when it's back in Force 5. So again here we're going to put in TED 2, numeral 2. This is just so we can see when it's back in Force 5 that it brought our changes back from the tablet. Now we're going to add a finding. So click the bottom row findings button. Now we have changed our windows to the finding and recommendation window. We go to B because it's comes up with the A findings at the top there. We're going to select B. B finding. We're going to have to type a new finding. There is no um, item choice for the finding so we'll put in here a big deal. I think we'll type in hmm how about new problem. I know you guys wish that that was just that easy to put in a find a description of a finding but you know for this demo purpose I can kind of do what I want. Now we're going to go over to the recommendations section get rid of our virtual keyboard so we can see our item choices. We're going to scroll down our item choices till we find one that we want to use. How about further investigate repair with like kind materials in keeping with accepted marine repair practices. Oh yeah, just love that one. So then we go to back button. We are back in. Now you see that our heading item has the um, finding indication bulb there and uh, with the ampersand means that it is addressed and it has a finding and recommendation. Now we're clicking the um, upload button down at the bottom there and that's saving our uh, survey to the cloud. Now it's up on the cloud. Now you can do this multiple times during this, the inspection or for this time we're just loading it back on the cloud, coming back here to Force 5. Now we're going to pull it off the cloud and back into Force 5 to use. And uh, all we do is click on Tools and go to Smart Notes. Now there's, it opens up with cloud and it shows that our new survey Smart Notes demo is on the cloud. So we're going to import it into Force 5 by clicking import. There's the date and time that we exported it to the cloud. So that's when we stopped working on it. Oh, survey already exists. Well, of course it does. We made it on Force 5 and then sent it to the cloud. We didn't delete it off of Force 5. So yes, we're going to overwrite it so that all our changes and stuff will be on Force 5. So here it is. We need to get to um, the hull deck and superstructure section under system so I'm gonna just quickly jump there using my mnemonic of HCT so I can just jump over to where we know we change these items under hull deck and superstructure so there it is we're under hull deck and superstructure under hull TED new modified V that's the change we made it came back and the next one down stem TED 2 is the change we made, which has come back into our survey. We've also got a finding and recommendation, a B finding and recommendation. There's our um, finding uh, text and all. So we've actually added, changed a couple of things. So you would have been on that boat completing your inspection just exactly like we did just these two heading items, bringing it back into Force 5 for use for you to proofread and polish, put your pictures and your summary and valuation in, and you are done without having to do go from paper notes to uh, typing it back in to Force 5. 
so our surveyors who are using this prolifically, and we've got a couple guys that do over 200 surveys a year, and they use it for the majority of all those surveys, are telling us they can save between two and three hours per survey using Smart Notes. Now, just like any other software, you've got to learn it to get the best out of the features for it and get used to using it. Hopefully, you guys will want to do that.